For several years now, honey bees have been mysteriously disappearing all over the world. And believe me, the little bee is a big deal. Well, there's the bee I have these bee scientists found a couple days ago. It was full of bees. Three hours later, nobody home. They just took off. Do you like fruits and vegetables? Then you like bees. Bees pollinate a third of our diet. And without bees taking pollen from one apple tree to another apple tree, you wouldn't get any apples. I'm the fifth generation in beekeeping. We're here the second week of February since Thanksgiving Day. We've <laughs> virtually lost the operation for the bees just dying. This is like the pictures of the Holocaust. This is, uh, this is a bee holocaust right here. Standing in Brett's 80s bee yard out here, you know, 15 miles west of here. That's one of the one of the worst days of my life. I mean, standing there watching, looking at, I mean, the devastation. I'm narrating the documentary, Vanishing of the Bees, because I'm concerned about bees, and I know this film can help turn this grave situation into an opportunity for people to come together and make changes for the good of the bees and everything else on our planet. We don't have to wait for the government to act on some of these issues. We can do something today. I had been hearing a lot about bees not having enough food, and we decided to plant some. Yeah. Save our bees! Save our agriculture! We're in a war here, and, and we're going to lose a percentage of our troops consistently. We're, we're going to keep fighting. Check out our website at vanishingbees.com and buzz by our Facebook page. Thank you, and be well. Ooh, her